You ready for this? Today I'm going to tell you how you can go into a total awakened state. Yep, you can do it today. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm going to teach you this and I'm going to explain a few things about how this works if you've never been into the super awakened state. I'll explain to you what that is and how this all works with being a human being. Ugh. Let's go. Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through fears and live an amazing life. Let's put a little fan on here, get a little air going, because we're going to talk about going into an awakened state, because when you do that, everything changes. Everything can happen for you. It's going to be a joke with my friends <laughs> about winning things. What is that? Well, here's my belief, and that is when you step out of the way of the thoughts, about things, no matter what those thoughts are, they're still thoughts. Ah, that's the key here. We're going to talk about that today. Before we get going, I hope you'll subscribe. You're telling YouTube that you want more positive, empowering messages. Yeah, we're not going into fear. Nothing fear-based. When you go into fear, you invite it into your energy field. Now, everything's energy. It is one thing happening. All right. Did you read my book? Yes, I'm going to promote it. By the way, I now have an audio book. I've got a really nice British accent woman speaking for me, and you're going to love it. And if you listen to that over and over and over again, you will go into a state of awakening if you go and practice it, if it starts to make sense to you, and we're going to talk about that today. So what is awakening? Awakening is just, let's just say, removing all the constraints of the illusion. That's it. You're waking up to actually what you already are. So awakening isn't a place you go to. It's recognizing it's actually what you are and everything else is the stuff that we believe, right? It's of the illusion. When you remove the illusion, you realize I am all, I am the awakened, perfect person, right? Perfect energy field. It's the other stuff that makes me believe anything different. The stories, the sadness, the anxiety, the material world, all of it. It's a judgment. It's a, you know, a, you're not okay. It's they're the problem. It's separation. It's all these things that keep you in a low frequency. Well, what is that? That's an attachment to, to programming of some kind. Where did you learn that? It's been passed down, okay? Through other egos that like to experiment and, and go on a journey of uh, darkness. And that's what we came here for. So it's not to be judged. That's the other thing. Can you stop the separation of right and wrong, good and bad, and know that we're all here to explore it? Some are in the deep, dark depths of the basement, and others are done with that and moving on. Now, people talk about those who are leaving the planet. The pl it's, a, it's a planned exit, more so for the collective now than the individual. So before we were coming in, we were learning, 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 and now with all of this information and where we are in our linear timeline here, because there's really no such thing, in this reality that we're living out and choosing, we're going into oneness. Oneness is community and it's collective thought pattern versus a me. So as we go into the collective thought pattern, those who are leaving are doing it on behalf of the collective. All right. Before we're exiting like, okay, I'm done with my own personal journey, blah, blah, blah. Now we're coming in and saying, okay, uh, is my exit going to um, aid in the, you know, the evolution or the advancement of this game? So that's the whole game is can we take it to the high level? Some people will stay here because they're playing out the challenges for us and themselves. Okay, and it's all individual choice. There's neither right nor wrong. It's not like, oh, we have to go there if we don't, you know, because there's endless scenarios going on at one time. So we're going to talk about how do you go into the awakened state. All right, 
The awakened state is when you end every single belief, all of them, separation, judgment, every single belief and thought. Now here's how you, and you're like, oh great. How am I gonna do that? You can, and I'll show you how to do it. So when I was in my super awakened state, it's actually difficult to uh, exist here on this planet because it's disturbing. Now here's what I want you to know. As a human being, you'll still have feelings. You'll still have emotions. You'll still have opinions, okay? You might say, well, that's thinking, but here's, here's where I'm, I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. You're still in a human experience. You don't avoid that. That doesn't go away. You're here for that. So what I want you to know is most people they want the awakened state because they're trying to escape this and you don't. You're here to be a part of it, okay? So understand that first. Because when you go into the super awakened state, you still experience all of this stuff the sadness, the pain, even fear and stuff, but it's no longer a part of your, your direct energy field. You become an observer of it. So this is what's gonna make it easier for you. You start observing every single thought and opinion and belief, observe it. Can I let it all go? Because everything's true, right? If you have a belief, there's somebody else who has a completely different belief and it's just as valid for them as it is for you. So who's right? Everybody's right. You're choosing it. So a belief is a limitation, okay? When you remove the limitations, you access everything, everything. And when you go to that release of the judgment and separation, you're going to a high frequency, okay? So you're not having any thoughts about anything. So if somebody does something, you can still experience the emotions without making a story about it, creating a story, or without making it right or wrong, judging it, taking a side. Now you don't have to participate in things. I told you uh, earlier about, I have a zero tolerance uh, rule right now for myself. Zero tolerance is just not participating in uh, any negative behavior or things that I'm no longer you know, uh, let's say I wasn't aligned with it in the first place, but just not wanting to be around it anymore. And some sometimes you'll be around amazing, beautiful, wonderful people, and they're just in their own way. And it's difficult to be around that because it's so limiting and I'm not here to change those people. But I can step over here and say, how much time and attention are you, you giving that negative energy field, the Dalai Lama says, if there is a negative energy in the room, walk away from it. I'm not here to change. Oh, I want you to be. No, that's ego. No beliefs that you should be awakened or you should believe what I do or you should not. Oh, we should. No, let it all go. All of it. All of it. Now, when I was in my super awakened state, if I hadn't come down from that a little bit, <laughs> like, um, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. It's difficult to even talk. You're so disconnected from your body, and your energy field is so expansive. You so when people call uh, talk about NDEs, near death experiences, they say it's really difficult to get in their body. It's like cramming it in because they're in the expansive space, and that's what um, you'll feel when you go into the awakened state. You're so aware of feeling huge. You feel like you've, you're filling up the room because you're no longer in the density. You're expansive. There's nothing in the way anymore. There's no stories or beliefs or separation or right or wrong anymore. You're just in it with no, with no judgment. So when you go into that super expansive space, there are no stories, no limitations between you and anything. You are part of that which is all things. Okay, humans have stories. The ego has stories. 
let them all go. And you say, well, how, how can I let go? You're telling me that, that there's no right or wrong. Yeah, I am telling you there's no right or wrong. One created everything, including the wrong that you as a human are pointing your finger at. That's, the, that's source. You don't have to understand. So that's when you let go of having to understand it or judge it, you'll start to go into the waking state. Now, you can practice this this non-thinking, which is not always easy. Now, just remember, so I have businesses. You guys know this. Digital Explorers is my uh, business I started a year ago. I've got another business. I have to do some thinking, planning. But there's no belief systems behind it or limitations or whatever. It's, it's actually an expansive type of thinking that allows me to be productive in the world. So, you know, I have to pick up so-and-so at such, such and such time. It's just an action. That's what I want you to think about is those, well, I don't think about whatever you want, but go ahead and use it. But you'll find out that you don't really have to think about it. If you have to go to the bathroom, you don't have to think about it. If you're hungry, you don't have to think about it. Now, you might have to look at the menu and make a decision. Do you really have to think about it? You know what you like. That's it. That's it. So you might say, well, that's boring. I can't have conversations. Of course you can have conversations, but I'm going to tell you something. What happens when you're awakened? You actually really don't want to because they don't really make any sense. I don't, you don't really want to talk. It's like, you're up here. I was up here. Here's how you practice no thinking. Go for a walk. And I have a key word for my students, those of you who are in Breakthrough Fear or my Miracle Circle. The key word is listen. As soon as you do that, you focus on what's out there, not what's in here. I used to say silence, but then you're thinking about silence, right? I'm thinking again. Now, just listen. So now you focus. Ah, the palm trees. Oh. A seagull. Oh, mowing the grass. You know, you start to start to focus on things without thought. You're listening, and it helps you to have gaps. Right. Same thing when you're meditating. Meditate. Go ahead. Have the thoughts, but let them float by like clouds. Don't engage in it. You're going to find yourself going higher and higher and higher. Pretty soon, you don't want to have the thoughts. I don't even want the thoughts anymore. And they don't really do anything for me. It's like exhausting, isn't it? Isn't thinking exhausting? So even judgment is like, that's pretty, that's ugly. That's still a judgment. I know, this is a tough one. Because like, well, I have my opinion, yes. But how expansive could you be if you didn't label it? And you thought, well, you know, ugly or, you know, pretty, doesn't really matter. Just observe it. Observe it. Because everything's actually beautiful. Everything's of the highest beautiful, most beautiful space. And so, when you go into the waking state, you'll stop arguing. You'll stop having to tell people that they need to be awakened. You'll stop thinking that, um, we're going to hell in a handbasket. You won't even care anymore because you know that there's endless scenarios of what's happening here and we get to choose them. And that by not thinking, you allow the most beautiful things to come in because now you're, you're part of community. When you're not separating yourself anymore and making decisions or having opinions uh, or judging anything, you go into oneness. And so you just do. You don't judge it. You know, somebody needs, uh, wants money from me, they're homeless. Oh, don't give them money, they're going to buy drugs. You don't know that. That's, a, that's another story and thought. No thinking. Do I want to do this? Yeah. Here. I told you what I usually do is I walk them into a restaurant and buy their food. I took a guy into a gas station. I took him inside and said, come on. Buy whatever you want. He's like, can I have that and that? I said, yeah, get it all. <laughs> and I paid for it. 
felt really good. It was just as good for me, probably better for me from that frequency standpoint than it was for him. It felt really good. He served an amazing purpose for me. So I see it differently. I don't think, oh, that poor guy, or way, or make up some story. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's my response to everything that counts. Am I making a high-end response, or am I creating a story behind it, or judging it? If you do this, there's no one that you can't be around, or any situation that you can, you know, handle. You'll be able to handle everything because you're not thinking, you'll actually test yourself and say, okay, can I just observe this? Go ahead and have the emotions of being a human. That's not going to go away. Feel it. But observe the feelings. You will go into something so amazing and you'll realize it's fun. So all day long you can say, oh, yep, there's my mom talking again. Or, oh, there's that teacher who said I wouldn't amount to anything. Ah, just a thought. And you don't have to judge the thought like, oh, I, I'm, I forgive them. No, just don't do anything with it. That's awakening. It ends the whole stuff, the beliefs, the programming, the whatever it is. And enjoy the material world too. Just enjoy it with making high choices. Right? So the ego will do things that's not good for it, just to get stuff, or be, it's been told that's good, or they have to have that. Or I saw a commercial when they were shoving stuff in their face, and I'm going to go do that. Like, so you've got to watch that, observe that, and say, whoa, there we go. Yeah, there we go. A little puffiness here. Fun stuff. See if you can do it. And... Um, your life will change. So when I came down a little bit, Eckhart Tolle, I read his book and, uh, went, oh, that's what that is. He came down a little bit too. It allows him to be the teacher and to deal with the world. Otherwise, we'd just sit up in the mountain and eat our little rice bowl and just say, I'm out of here. <laughs> but coming down gets you engaged in the game, but at a different level. Right? You're still being the human being, playing the role. You have to play the role. So go ahead and do that. But go from that space of observation with no rules, no beliefs, no right, no wrong, no separation. No one. Watch the people uh, yelling at each other. It's funny. Oh my God, it's so funny. It's like, what? And then when you go off into that nothingness without the body, you'll you'll look at what was really important and it was none of that or who's in office or any of the other stuff that, that people go off on or people even I saw some comments about light workers they're watching each other's channel saying the same thing I said I've never ever watched a light workers channel why would I do that I get my own downloads I don't want to see somebody else's stuff I want it coming through. So if we're all saying that, the same stuff about what's going on, wow, we're tapping into that information. And that's where you'll go. You'll tap into that. So you guys, if you've gotten my book, thank you. Please write a review. And, you know, Amazon, they go by reviews. I would really appreciate that. And thank you for purchasing the book because it is part of the um, message that had to come out. Like I said, I have an audio now, so if you, those of you who want the audio, go ahead and uh, uh, check it out. And um, let's have fun with this. You'll realize that, wow, how can there be any limitations of any kind? One source is all things. Exploring it. Explore it. Have fun. Yeah, it's a game. Let's, let's have fun with the game. All right, so I have to go get work out and get my groceries because we got a hurricane coming by here. <laughs> Yay! A hurricane party. You are whole and perfect. Oh, Digital Explorers, don't forget, those of you who are entrepreneurial, if you want to create a sustainable, planet-conscious business of any kind, we, I help you find out what it is. You explore your passions. What is that? Most, student, my, most of my students don't know. 
So we find out what it is and it's a lot of fun. It's the exploration of self and, you know, a, a journey of saying, wow, what if I never had any restrictions or any rules of any kind? What would I do? We'll make a great impact on this planet. So come on over. This is a training system. It's this isn't one of those pie in the sky, make money online stuff. This is a serious training system to build a real business that you're going to own. And of course, I've been doing this for over a decade online successfully. I'll teach everything to you. No experience needed. No technology experience. I don't even teach it. You don't need to know tech. We've got, you know, we got everything being done for us right now. I want you to focus on what you really love and that impact you're going to have. And we're going to find your purpose. Imagine that. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. Oh, blessings to you if you only knew, if you only knew what you are and what I see, and it's perfect. Let's connect to that space. Namaste.